In this video, we will extract the curtain wall material and glazing data from AutoCAD using the CAD Tools Data Exchange program. First, we need to load the CAD Tools Data Exchange program you downloaded to your hard drive into AutoCAD. Let's see, we will type the net load command and we are in our project folder but you know if not you've got to go to wherever you saved the file you downloaded select the CAD tools uh, dot DLL file hit open we get a security warning from Autodesk hit load and it should it doesn't give any information other than net load no errors and then we type CAD tools to run the program running the program uh, we have four options the uh, export AutoCAD data to Excel the one we will be using this will import data from the Excel sheet if you make any modifications we will use Metalop to import the data in the next video and then there's a check attribute data uh, we'll quickly check some data and it just lists the tag information uh, what is listed and the this is the special AutoCAD information and you can just it just goes through each item to check the information so we will go through and extract the data into a new Excel spreadsheet first item we'll do is the elevation A and it has a quantity of 12 now we're doing the data, not the glazing data, we're doing the material data, so we'll be using the CAD tools layer. Select the elevation. Uh, briefly opened up Excel, a new Excel sheet. A, and all we do is make a window over the data we want. And we will then do elevation B. And the last elevation, this one. And then I just say I'm done. Exit. And this is the data. Let's see if we can't get this where you can see it. This was the first elevation, and here's all the data. And then B, you know, it uh, puts the tag, which they're generic for now, uh, the part number or extrusion number, your length, these are the remarks, these are the quantity you entered, and then these are the each unique tag handle that corresponds with each piece of data in AutoCAD. This number is generated by AutoCAD. And that should take care of the data extraction. The next thing we do is we go to File, Save As. We save it to the hard drive. Browse. And I put it in the same folder where the CAD file is and eventually I'll put metal up there uh, and I'll just call it um, something like TW curtain wall data to distinguish the file save and this is where the Excel file was same way or place we have the DLL all the project information Okay, next we need to 
go through it again and extract the glazing data. So we just type the CAD tools command. We're going to export the glazing data. This time we will hit the CAD tools uh, geo layer. We will start with elevation A again which has 12. We briefly opened up a new uh, Excel spreadsheet. This is elevation A. And you can see where it is highlighted the filtered the glazing data that is on that layer. Enter. Next one, B. Okay, now all the elevations, the glazing data has been extracted, so I just say I'm done, exit. And we can bring Excel forward. Here's the elevations. Started with A, B, C, D. Um, we'll analyze the generic tag. This is your DLO width, DLO height. Here's your glass tag type, type 1, type 2 in this project. These were the real marks. Um, for example, the punched openings have no remarks. And then your quantity, and then the unique AutoCAD tag handle corresponding to the data in each location in the drawing. Then we go up to File, do the Save As. And this one I will call you know, like GL data, you can call it any name you want, just to separate it. And then the file saved. Then we will, in the next video, we will use Metalop to, ex to create the tag data and export it back into our shop drawing. Thank you for using the CAD Tools Data Exchange.